Hey guys, welcome back to the Garcia Family Channel. Today we got a video about cooking. Uh, last cooking video, uh, Stephanie did some Kung Pao chicken. And today by popular demand, we're doing uh, Mapo Tofu. I have Aubrey here helping us. She's gonna help me cook and we're gonna kinda figure this out together. So uh, let's get right into it. I'm gonna cook. She is gonna cook. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Um, I've never cooked this before, so this is gonna be a, a first time and we'll see how it goes. Uh, the first ingredient that we do need is this uh, Sichuan pepper. Uh, in all the food around this region, you see this food here. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this. Come over here, we're gonna uh, toast these uh, Sichuan peppers. We have our little little wok here. We're gonna get a low heat. That was hot. It was hot. Okay, Aubrey, come over here and just kinda move these peppers around. Don't put your hands under here. Okay. And we wanna toast these. We wanna be careful to not burn them. Uh, once we can kind of smell the aroma of the pepper, we know that uh, that is done toasting. And we'll just give that moving around a little bit. So while she's doing that, uh, when we went to Chengdu, we did a, a cooking class and we learned how to cook uh, Sichuan food. So that's kind of what inspired us to come back and, and try it ourselves. We bought some of the local ingredients from there, so hopefully it's pretty close to the, uh, to the uh, real thing. Good job, honey. All right, I'm starting to smell it. A little bit of oil is coming out. So I think that should be good. So let's go. Next, what we want to do is grind these up. I, guess, I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. And what we have here is called a uh, mortar and pestle. Uh, we found this on Taobao for super cheap. So what we're going to do is I'm going to have Aubrey just grind these up. Let's give it a good grind, twist it, get it all smashed up nice and good. Before. You did crack an egg before. You could twist it a little bit, you could smash it up. Yep, and then just watch this, twist it, and I grind it up. Okay. There you go. Okay, while she's doing that, we have the star of the show, which is uh, the tofu. Uh, we got some soft tofu, we got about 250 grams of it. So, what we want to do is slice it up into cubes. I'll slice this way I think it's all done. first. I'll keep going, you can still have some more to go. Slice up into thirds like so. And we just wanted to get, uh, get some cubes. Not the prettiest cubes, but it's close enough. And once that is done, we're gonna want to simmer this in some, uh, some water and salt. What that's gonna do is it's gonna kinda season the tofu and um, extract some of the water. This is probably not the correct way to pick this up, but what? uh, whatever. It's just a little. So again, we want to simmer it. We don't want to boil it, but we'll just let that go for about, uh, for about three minutes or so. Okay, how's it going, honey? Let me see it. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll take it. Yeah. All right, so it's getting there. Crush it down just a little bit more. And this stuff has such a distinct taste to it. It's that, that flavor that numbs in your mouth, and I, we love it. It's in all the noodles here and everything. Okay, so now we're gonna start uh, the mints. So come on, you can sit back down, Aubrey. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. So we're gonna get like a medium heat. I don't like fire. You don't like fire? It's okay, we're not gonna do fire. Uh, we're gonna add some rapeseed oil here. Uh, not a good hefty amount. And we're gonna put in our uh, pork mince. Just a little bit of pork mince for, for flavoring. Okay, Aubrey. Again, be careful not to touch, touch it. But you can grab this here. And just start moving it around, okay? Okay. Good job. So okay, so uh, Stephanie's already kind of filmed it here, but this is our bean paste. We got this here actually from where they make it uh, in Chengdu. So we got a tablespoon and a half of that. Um, you do want to mince it up a little bit because uh, it's going to be a little bit chunky and you don't want all that um, you know, floating around in your, in your tofu. So uh, I'm just getting the pork here going. You turn this down just a little bit. Okay, now we're going to add this into the mince. Mix it? Yeah, mix it up. I can do it. And the point here is to get the oil to become red. We want to extract the red oil from the uh, from the bean paste. 
So we'll let that go for a few minutes. Good job, Aubrey. Keep it in the pan. Inside of it? Yeah. You can see the, the, uh, the oil is starting to become a little bit redder. You'll get burnt if somebody, like, it falls out of the pan and it gets on your leg. It'll kind of burn your leg. I think you're right about that, honey. This is going along good. Let me help you a little bit, okay? Yeah, it's kind of good. That's looking good, nice and red. I think I got it right. You do got it. Okay, so next we're going to add our garlic. We just minced um, two cloves of garlic, just two to three up to your taste, and we're gonna throw that in there. We're gonna add some of the just normal chili powder. It's really up to you how much you wanna use. Since the kids will eat some of this, I don't wanna use too much. Okay, mm. next thing, I'm gonna add the stock. So we got uh, three quarter cups of stock here. I'm gonna pour that right in. Watch out, Aubrey. Mm. Now right. should I mix it? Yeah, keep mixing it up, okay? Looking good. We're going to add a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of sugar. A little bit of sugar? A little bit of sugar. Sugar is not good for you. It's not good for you, you're right. So we're not going to put too much in it, okay? A little bit of soy sauce. A little bit of soy sauce. A little bit of sugar. And keep stirring that up, honey, okay? Okay, we're gonna let this get to a good simmer, so I'm gonna crank the heat up just a little bit more. Okay, now what we gotta do is add our tofu. Um, it's been simmering here. Unfortunately, I don't have a good strainer. I just have this little microscopic one. So we're gonna do the best we can to get some water out, and then we're gonna add this to our walk here. You need it to get sinking down. Yes, now let me tell you something in a second, Aubrey. The tofu here is pretty fragile. Yeah, I know. So what you want to do is instead of mixing it up, I'll show you, look. Tofu can be really stretchy. It can be stretchy. We're going to want to push it back and forth here, okay? okay. So you don't want to actually put it on top of the tofu, just back and forth, okay? I'll keep putting the rest of it in here. I think one mistake on this one, I put some pretty big chunks in here, but we'll see how it, uh, how it turns out. I hope it turns out great. Well, we'll find out. Oh wait, it looks like hot pot. It does look like hot pot, huh? <laughs> so like I said, just back and forth, nice and gentle, okay? We don't want to break the tofu up. Okay, next thing is we're going to thicken it up. We're going to add our uh, slurry. It's just cornstarch and, and water. So we'll go ahead and add this into the mix here. Okay, keep mixing it up, honey. I think it's looking better already. I think so. It should thicken up just a little bit here now. Okay. It's like moving. We'll add a touch of uh, sesame oil. Okay. Keep going. You're doing good, honey. What is this? What does that have to do with this? Ah, it just helps the taste. Uh. Just back and forth. Nice and easy. Good job. Mm. Am I doing good? You're doing very good, honey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, at this point, we're gonna add our uh, Sichuan peppers that we did earlier. We'll add that into the mix. And we'll mix this around. Yep. Try not to have too much on there. You're right. This was a little bit of vinegar. We'll add that in. That sounded like a bell. It did sound like a bell. Okay. That is basically about it. Yeah. So in the meantime, we got some green onions here that we're gonna garnish it with. Go ahead and chop up some of these. Can I chop? Honey, I'll chop this up, okay? Mm -hmm. But you could sprinkle them on if you'd like. Mm. Good enough. And then we'll plate this up. All right, so let's plate this up and then see what this is like.
Now, it's a little bit soupy, which it should be on the soupier side, but if you don't like it that way, you, know, you could use less stock. I might have used a little bit too much, but that actually looks pretty dang good. Sprinkle it with our uh, green onions here. And that is it. That is uh, the best uh, version of Mapo Tofu that we could come up with. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think or if you want us to try to cook something else. But we're going to give this a taste test once it cools down. Okay guys, going in for a taste test. I think it cooled down enough. We'll give it a shot. It's pretty good. It's really good. It might be a little bit spicy for you, honey, but once it cools down, I'll let you try a, a little bit, okay? All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Again, let us know if you want us to try something else. This was a lot of fun to make and actually super delicious. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thanks.